Here we go. Welcome everybody. Today is the Monday, 22nd of March. Okay, we are in the last week of March. And uh, today we already called the roll. And what we're gonna what we're gonna start doing is we're gonna start checking some some bits of the homework that you had to do for yesterday. Then we'll continue with uh, part of a new class, which are feelings and music. Okay, we will be checking that, how music make you feel. That is an important question today. And also, we're going to do some listening practice on why people like to, okay, okay, why people like to listen to sad music. So that's what we're going to do today. Listen and practice. And also, we're going to do some vocabulary. So today is only vocabulary and listening. All righty. And also, we're going to start on working the homework number three. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Let's begin. Today's recommendations are only adventure games. Probably Lemon knows a lot of them. First, we have uh, Legends of Zelda, The Ocarina of Time. Then we have Final Fantasy VII, which now is free on PlayStation 4, I think. Final Fantasy VII Remake. Also, The Witcher 3, which is really good. Diablo 2 or Diablo 3. And then Strategy Adventure Game, really good. StarCraft 2 Strategy Game or StarCraft 1, if you like the classic. Zero, sorry, all right. One is the best. One is the best. Yeah, one is the best. Really good. Really fast. I like that. Morning Burning. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. In this case, uh, another adventure game, Star Wars Fallen Order. That's a really good one. Uh, okay, let's continue with the next part, which is part of the vocabulary. Yeah, today's new word, new words are connected to feelings. Okay, every every vocabulary words here are related to feelings. So, for example, we have first one is feeling blue any idea of what feeling blue might mean if you're feeling blue today what's that uh, triste. you are feeling sad that's true so it's not that you're feeling blue like avatar you are feeling sad another example or oh, another word is if you're feeling over the moon what is that um Mm, sería como la expresión sobre las, o sea, en la, estás en las nubes, algo así. Yes, so what's the meaning, Joe? That if you. Um, uh, mm -hmm. Ah, no tengo ni idea. Eh, desconcentrado. Um, o sea, no, 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 no. no. Um, ah, no tengo ni idea. <laughs> ¿Cómo yeah. decirlo? No, por ejemplo, if you, if you find your friend. And your friend is like, yeah, hey, I'm so excited. And you ask me, oh, yeah, you look over the moon. What's going on? Uh, I got promoted. Wow, I'm the boss now. I'm over the moon. It means that you are super, super, super happy. So that, that's the meaning of excited. super excited. Yes, I'm over the moon. It can't be better. So that's over the moon. If you are feeling head over heels, usually it's connected to a person. Por la cabeza en otra parte. That's a good idea, Evi. But it's a bit, it's a bit different. Usually, when you are over the over, yeah, when you are over the heels, uh, when you are head over heels, sorry, you kind of, uh, let's say, are very distracted. You get blushed. Eh, como rojadizo. Um, usually it's because of someone else. You feel things in your stomach. Um, you start listening to love songs. Yeah. What do you think that might mean? If you are head over heels. Uh, mm, no, no tengo ni idea. Mm. Sería, a ver, uh, if 
Vere. But what if we, for example, okay, you look very happy, you laugh all the time, you're in good humor, and also uh, you're thinking about a person a lot, and then you start, you know, listening to romantic songs, and then people say, oh, you're head over heels. Yeah. Ah, so you head over heels. Sería como estar enamorado. Yeah, absolutely. So that's head over heels. When you're head over heels, you are usually in love. Okay. So it was a, a bit similar. Uh, Abby, yes. You are distracted because you are in love. If you're fed up, lemon with something. Usually. Uh, people algo get... aburrido. Yeah. So if you're. O que fed... estás harto. Algo yeah. así. Yes, absolutely. If so, if you're fed up with something, it means that you are tired of something. Okay, you say, ah, not homework again. I'm fed up with homework. Fed up with. I think that's supposed to be the combination. Oh, no. I'm fed up with. And, uh, and also, if you're feeling under the weather. So how are you feeling today? Ah, I'm feeling under the weather. Um, Come on, there's a coffee to cheer you up. Ah, uh, sintiéndose mal? Yes. Algo así. Yeah, it can be uh, emotional or it can be also because you're sick. So if you're feeling under the weather, it means you're not 100%. You're like, eh. And not, not, not really working. Okay, we're going to stop. We're going to continue now with the second part, which is part of the homework. Any questions, people? All right. Um, no. Profe. Yeah, Joe. Ah, no, olvídelo. Olvídelo, olvídelo. No. Joe. No, olvídelo, olvídelo. No, ya me acordé. Okay, Joe, thank you. All right, we're going to check some parts of the homework, some bits of the homework. No se escribía el sig de las palabras. Ah, the meaning. Ah, and blue is depressed. Okay, like feeling bad. Uh, over the moon, excited. Head over heels, in love. Fed up, tired of something. And uh, under the weather, feeling bad. Physically or emotionally. All right, let's continue. So what we're going to do now is we are moving two bits of the homework. So I'm moving to the book and I can show you now Google Classroom. Si Antonino, ya voy a mandar el video. Um, so for example, this is Mauricio, our Google Classroom. Mr. D is my nickname. And uh, in classwork, what we have is the unit number one. Here, Mauricio, we put the videos of the class. So you can check these videos and you will be up to date with the class. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's check the homework. Uh, here, ah, some new homework, that's good, that's good. And here are the people who finish the homework. Uh, Miss Antonia Carvalain, please mark your homework as done. Tiene que marcarla como entregada, ya? Yep. Yeah, porque a veces uno sube las cosas, pero no le pone enviada o marcada como enviada. Okay, so we are going to be working here. We're going to do one or two activities um, per item. Okay, thanks. All right, let's check some of the bits. All right. So what we have here are some pictures. Okay, he's been, it's been no, snowing for days. Okay, this is pretty simple. Let's continue with this one. Okay, so here, let's see. So it says, use the present perfect continuous, blah, 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 and positive or negative. So we mentioned that the present perfect continuous, which is a name that we actually don't care about that much. Uh, we are talking about actions. They are still in pro process and actually that started in the past. Okay, that's the idea. So here we have, she's been reading. 
for that book for more than a week. Uh, I have a question, people. Uh, this, what is this? Has. Has, yeah, some people wrote is, and is is not correct. So we mentioned that uh, this present perfect continuous is composed of has, auxiliary has or have, and then also we needed, what was the next thing we needed? Been. Been, and then a verb with ing. Okay, so that's the idea. So that's that's everything about uh, the present perfect continuous. We need have and has, plus been, and plus the verb in ing. Okay, thanks, Pablo. Uh, so let's quickly do this one. Uh, Joe, please the first one. The first one, Dave's and Bet. He. Um. He has been feeling it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. But look, he's in bed. So. Ah, entonces he hasn't yes, been feeling. Perfect. I think it's negative. Been feeling. He hasn't been feeling well for about three hours. So he's in bed. Yeah. He's in bed. So he's feeling bad. Uh, let's see, Mauricio. Let's see, Mauricio. What do you know about this? Uh, what an awful weather. What's the meaning of awful, people? Wow, it's awful outside. It's raining. It's all black. Eh, malo. Yes. Malo, feo. Terrible. Algo así. Malo feo. Yes. <laughs> you can be an awful person, and the weather can be awful as well. Mauricio, let's see this one. How would you complete this one? It. <laughs> um, okay, you have these options. Has or have, Mauricio? Be, uh, has or has? Has or have? Has? Has, okay. has, has, has. Thank you. Has. Okay. It has. Then, Mauricio? Yeah. Uh, Bing. Has been, yes, and it says verb with I and G. Has been, Ray. Has been cooking. Oh. I'm doing the number three, the number three. Sorry, 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 sorry. Perdón. Uh, raining. Has been raining, yes, thank you. So, so don't worry. It, the idea, Mauricio, is this. So we have, here we have a timeline, una línea de tiempo. We have a timeline here. Okay, and the timeline says, okay, yeah, Manuel is here. Okay, so the event started raining here. Okay, the rain started, oh, wow, I'm good. Okay, it started raining. Okay, in the past, I don't know, it says all day, well, let's say in the morning, this is the morning, and this is now. This is now the present. So it's been raining. It's been raining, 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 and probably will continue. Okay, so we are talking about an event. This is the event, Mauricio. It's an event that began in, in the past. This is the past. In this case, the morning, and continues until now. So that is what we are studying. Hello, Manuel. What's going on, dude? Uh, Mauricio, clear? Uh, so, uh, sorry, sorry. ¿Qué, uh, ¿qué, qué pasó, profe? ¿Puedo repetir okay. la pregunta? Clear. Did you get the idea of this? Clear. Uh, claro. Claro, esto que le expliqué recién. Ah, sí, 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 sí. sí. Okay, es sí lo entendí. Good. Perdón que estoy un poco perdido. Estoy ajustándome a la materia, sorry, profesor. Ya yeah, no worries. Okay, so, uh, and we are using has because it's shiki it. Okay, and have is I, you, we, they. 
I, you, we, they have. For example, this one. I've had to have. Okay. I've have been studying. Okay, I've been studying. Uh, so I don't think I'm going to pass the test. So it's negative. <laughs> I have not. Or I haven't been studying. Okay, that's the idea. So they are correct. Okay, let's do another one and we are about to finish. All right, here some people had some mistakes and it's not just put the verb, but you have to put the verb in the present perfect continuous. So let's see Manuel, the newcomer. Manuel, I've been trying to contact you. Is your phone broken? I want to ask you a question. Will you join the cool four, Jason, Nora, and Zoe, Zoe, uh, and I have started a band. As you know, I've been writing. I've been Great. writing. Good pronunciation, Great. Manuel. Yeah. Sí, I, hey, no, no, but I no, good pronunciation. I've remember this is like an F. I've been writing songs for years, and I. I of starting my own band. I've been dreaming. I've been and I've been maybe not dreaming. It could be I've been dreaming of yeah, it could be dreaming. Sí, profe, es dreaming yeah, porque think... hice la tarea y no lo calzaba dreaming en otro lado. Thank you, Joe. That's good. And I've been dreaming of having my own band. I'm sure people Mm. Manuel, yes. Uh, I never do it. But, but I never do it. Ah, espera, 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 espera. Parece que no estoy compartiendo el libro. No. Eh, uh, sí. Ah, sí. Uh, really? Am I sharing the book? Sí. Yeah, you can see the book, yes? Yeah. Oh, okay, then that's good. Any idea, Joe? Uh, I'm sure people never do it, that I never do it. Uh, have been talking. Have been talking? I've been talking? Mm, I don't know. Thinking? Thinking, yes. That's the best. Ah, bueno. Sí, sí, sí. Yes, I've been thinking that I never do it. Well, that they are wrong. Jason, Nora, and Zoe are here now, and we about the have been have been have been talking. Talking. No, talk, talking. Uh, have been talking about the name of the band. If you join us, how does the cool five sound? The cool five. It's okay. I like this this name. It's cool. Zoe. It's really nice. Okay, so we have have have. Have, have, and all of them. So be careful. And this homework is the instruction sets use the present perfect continuous. Have, has, been, and ing. And it's finished with the next one. Other questions. Yeah, one more second. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Tiare. Go, Tiare. We have question. Present perfect continuous question. How would you complete the first one, Tiare? How long she speak to the teacher? Tiare, Tiare Moreno. Tiare, Tiare Moreno. Tiare. Tiare is like an exotic name. Oh, thank you, Tiare. Yeah, pero como sigue, bro? how? How long, like, how long has she been? Yeah, did it? Yeah, speaking. Yeah, thank you, Daniel. Good. To the teacher. She's been speaking to the teacher like three hours. So, what we have is a change, okay? Some people didn't have this. Because it's a question. And been speaking is pretty much all right. And let's finish with Miss Bernie. Bernie, what about number three? Bernie. Uh, uh, 
What about number three, Bernie? Hey. 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 Yeah. No, si se, si. Dice you, auxiliary of you, have or has. Have. Ha. Okay, what have you? Doing. Ah, uh, te faltó algo. Okay. Uh, been. Been, been doing, yeah. Thank you, Martina. That's good. What have you been doing? I've been watching TV. I don't know, whatever. Yes, I've been shopping online. So that's correct. So the idea when we make questions is super simple. We have the question, of course, and then we have auxiliary and then the person. Just like this, we change it because it's a question. We, we turn the order around, so that's good. Okay, that's the end of the question. So people make sure you finish the homework because it's important to practice. Uh, let's be honest, we have classes only once a week and we don't want to lose English. We want to have more English. So that's why I'm sending you homework uh, every week, okay? Because we, you guys need to practice. Okay, so enough with the homework. Now we are moving to Nearpod, okay? I'm going to now Nearpod, and I have eight students in Nearpod. Uh, I'm going to send you the link again. Okay, so Mauricio, also you have to click on the link. Uh, it's, on the, it's, it's in the chat. It's in the chat. Profe, 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 antes yeah. que siga. Eh, usted no me puede pasar el código del Classroom de nuevo, por favor, porque oh. no pude entrar la otra vez. No te puedo o te puedo pasar. O sea, me puede, me puede. <risas> ah, yeah, of course. Las preguntas negativas me confunden demasiado. Ya, yeah, a ver. There you are. Um, this Benja, there you have the invitation and the code as well. And I'm gonna, you know what, I'm gonna do it right now because then I'm gonna forget. Uh, this is ready so we can. Let me find the tutorial for Google Classroom. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, did you guys see the Snyder Cut? I mean, the Justice League Snyder, Snyder Cut. No, no. Not yet? Mm. It's sexy. It's very long, but it's sexy. Very good. Okay, so your class should be... What? What? The Snyder Cut. Did you see it, uh, Joe? Um, no. No? Mm. It's good, it's good. How to use Google Classroom. So this is my tutorial. I'm gonna put it here in El Taolun. So you guys, uh, especially Antonino and some other people who are confused, watch it. The link. The Snyder Cut is four hours. Solo sube clase o sube juego? <laughs> no, son clase. Todo son clase. Profe, profe, profe. profe. Yo? Yeah. Ah, eh, ah, ¿Ha streameado, cierto? ¿O, o, o no? Ah, sí, el, el sábado. Ah. ¿Cuándo vamos a jugar LOL, profe? <laughs> Ese, ese día estaba buscando gente, pues puse ahí un aviso. Necesito equipo de LOL. Ah, es que juego todos los días. Entonces ya, no sé. atenta el viernes, ahí voy a publicar otra vez. O quizá mañana, mira, mañana también. Sí, mañana es más despejado. Hoy día estoy así eternamente conectado al computador. Termino como a las siete y media de la tarde, imagínense. <risa> Uh, Google Classroom Bleh. tutorials. Sí, eh, jugué. Um, sorry, I was playing um, Age of Empires and I was playing um, in League of Legends. Age of Empires 2. Definite edition. GTA, sí, I mean, we did. Soy millonario. 
Como oh, 20 millones. Ya. Yeah. Soy magnate. Es que te das por la vida real. También. Ya, yeah, Pipo. Muy lucky. Pokémon. Oh, es que yo, eh, Antonio, yo quedé en los Pokémon en segunda generación. Después no cacho nada. Nada, sí, lo que es nada. Ya. Yeah. Hey. Are you guys ready? Ten people. Ten people in. in... In Nearpod, come on, click on the link. As always, Antonia Carvelin, star. Emilia, Belu, Josefa Fontaine, Luciana, yeah. Pepis. <laughs> yeah, Pepi, atenta, porque necesito que me acompañe. Yeah? Pepis. Pepis, yeah? Pepis. So you can carry me. You carry me. Carry. Ok. Carry me. Ya. Yeah. Entonces juego en nosotros. Ah, ya, yeah, pues. Invítenme. Yo juego en Place, pues. No lo tengo en PC, no me corre. <risa> o si corre, corre muy lento. ¿Qué? I don't play GTA en PC. Ah. Yes, I play en PlayStation 4. I don't have a PC gamer. Maybe, maybe. I will have a PC gamer soon, but not now. What is that? This is Nearpot. Hey, by the way, uh, Josefa Millar, are you there? Josefa, hello. Josefa. Josefa, happy birthday. Happy late birthday i hope you had a good weekend nice celebration you receive a lot of a lot of um gifts uh lots of love from your family friends uh your teachers uh your teachers love you very much okay so you're a very good person enjoy have a good 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 week wish you the very best all right let's begin so we are 17 people what's going on today Yes, yes, Josefa, eso mismo te dije. You understand English very Profe, well. ¿por qué tengo un puntito rojo? I don't need. Let me see. Ah, because you are... Uh, estás con otra ventana abierta. Ah. Sí, me avisa si estás en, en acá metida o no. El cabeza de caballo. Yo ¿Cómo? sí estoy. Ahora sí, vos. Sí, ahora sí. Ya vamos a empezar nomás. Somos, di somos 17, muy poco. No sé qué onda los demás. All right, let's begin because of the time. Okay, so what we're going to do today is feelings connected to music and attention. Here we have a lot of vocabulary. A lot of vocabulary. No te carga. Oh, look at it. My God. Okay, don't worry. Let's see. Okay, so some feelings on how music can make you feel. So if you're listening to, for example, um, uh, let's say, can you think about a joyful song, a cheerful song, a song that make you feel optimistic, joyful, pleased, cheerful, in good spirits? Can you give me a name of a song? Can you give me a name of a song that makes you feel like that? Buddy Holly from Wizard. Lemon, my respect. Yeah. Then a song that makes you feel unhappy, down, heartbroken, or blue. Oh. Is there any song that makes you feel like that? Like oh, someone, someone like you, yeah, yeah. That, uh, song, that song is sad. What, Joe? Ah, uh, mm, eh, uh, I olvidé. From Josh A. Stray Kids, Third Eye, but Pain. Oh, Seven K. Eso es sad. Ah. Uh. 
But what about a song that makes you feel raged? Like, ah, ah. like you listen to it? Deposito. Despacito. <laughs> sí, confirmo. Okay, despacito. Okay, that's good. Uh, and a song that makes you feel euphoric, excited, energetic. Any from Dua Lipa? No. Uh, uh, Idol, the BTS. <laughs> Idol, BTS, BTS. Yeah. What about a song that makes you feel dazed and confused, puzzled? Like, huh? What is this song? Quizá alguna de... Alguna de The Dream Theater. Como muy cambiante, muy rara a veces. A song that makes you feel warm, kind, hot. Tire nomás, Torino. Loved. Warm-hearted. They say, huh, oh, hmm. If, if you're sad, you listen to the song, it's like, oh. Uh, no escucho ese tipo de canción. <laughs> oh. Snowman. Have you ever feel a snowman? Is that or no? No, know. creo que es la de Sia. Ah, yeah. La que canta. La revieja la canta, yeah. Um, and a song that makes you feel self-assured that you're walking on the street, on the street and you listen to it, it's like, hell yeah, hell yeah, I'm the best. Bernie, is a mixtape, no? Around the world, the que así, punk. Es que así se llama, o sea, se llama un track, pero le agregan el, le agregan el mixtape. Por, no sé por qué. Uh, heretic, heretic. Avengers, Avengers, Avenged Sevenfold. ¿Por qué era el Britney Spears? Ay. <laughs> uh, oops, I did it again. Empecé a meter. Um, now, Luis. Tom Linson. I don't know. It's a, a lot of people have recommended me Tom Lewis son. Lewis Tom Linson. I don't know him. Is it good? What kind of music? Pop, Francisca? Is it pop or electronic? Rock? K-pop? Jazz? R&B? Rap? Lewis Tom Linson. What is that? What style of music is it? No? Okay. So people, so here we have feelings on how um, you can feel or uh, you can experiment in your body thanks to music. So you can feel optimistic, joyful. Okay, what do you need here? Optimistic, joyful, pleased, cheerful, in good spirit, very positive. If you're feeling unhappy, down, heartbroken, blue, some music can make you feel like that, like, oh. Also some music can make you feel, oh, this song again, stop it. Rage, pissed off, the pasito, yeah, that's true. Uh, other songs make you feel thrilled, jazzed, excited, euphoric, energetic. Like you listen to them, especially on the Monday morning, and it's like, wow, yeah. If you feel dazed, confused, puzzled, in a fix, some music can make you feel like that, uncomfortable, like, oh, what is this? Uh, some music can feel make you feel tender, warm, warm-hearted, uh, dear, kind, and loved. Especially like soft music uh, with good lyrics, romantic lyrics sometimes. And all the music can make you feel self-assured, fearless, like, I can do everything, anything today. I can do, I can do it. Okay, I can finish this day. And now a question for you people. Let's see. With the vocabulary we just checked. Also, we also can describe music in the following ways. We can say that music is upbeat. It means it's uh, cheerful, like, wow, wow. Usually pop music is very upbeat. And music can be pleasing, relaxing. Music can be melodic, can be catchy, 
that is in your head the whole day can be uplifting. So if, if music if is uplifting, is that you're feeling, you're feeling blue in the morning or one day, and then you listen to the song, and then you feel better. So that's the meaning of uplifting. You're, you're feeling bad, and then you listen to the song, and then you feel, okay, I'm much better now. It can be lively. It means a music with a lot of colors, with a lot of different things that is kind of the music is alive. For example, Mexican music, sometimes rancheras, sometimes they are very lively. They have trumpets, they have uh, people saying, yeah, 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 and people dance. That is lively music. Music can be rhythmic, smooth, okay, very soft, like jazz sometimes, smooth, mellow, can be mellow, como melosa. Vicente Fernández, yes. It can be meloso. For example, like romantic music can be mellow. Steady, like rock. Chayanne. Chayanne is mellow. Chayanne is smooth, okay? Steady music like punk. Okay? That is steady. It's a music that goes every time. Very rhythmic. Music can be piercing. For example, if you're listening to, you know, Lemon's, Lemon's favorite band or Lemon's band, Death. Or if you're feeling to black metal music in a Monday morning, it can be piercing. It can be like, oh, too much. Oh, ah, my head. Because it's very loud, because it's very aggressive. So it can be piercing. Music can be melancholic, like Radiohead, for example. Music can be dark, like sometimes Depeche Mode and other, other bands. So music can be depressing, down, sad, and blue, okay? Like, for example, some blues can be sad. Some romantic songs also can be sad. Mm -hmm. Also, you, some music can be awful, like Despacito, and you can say, oh, that sounds awful, like Despacito. Then also, music can be harsh. It means like it's not good, it's not good for you. It's like, oh, I can't stand this music. Some music can be flat, like meh. Like that, that, that song is meh. And so music can be shrill. Shrill means that music is very, uh, very loud. Um, yeah, that's the meaning of shrill. That is very loud music. That you, you want something soft in the morning, for example. Not something shrill, like very loud. Okay, have in mind these, these adjectives because we're going to be using some of them. Now, the question is the following for you people. Okay, so the question is, how does music make you feel? Mention a song, how it makes you feel, and why. Mention a song, how it makes you feel, and why. People, uh, do you want the adjectives? ¿Tienen los adjetivos que mostré? Teacher se marcó, perdón. Ah, yo te lo borro, tranquilo. ¿Quieres los adjetivos que mostré? Gracias. ¿Para que la puedan hacer mejor? Eh, ¿Sí? ¿Puedes mostrarlos otra vez, por favor? Yes, I'm going to send them to uh, Mr. B, Mr. Benjamin González to your WhatsApp. Benjamin González. Benjamin. Hola, profe. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? I'm sending you the adjectives to your WhatsApp. Can you send them to the rest of the people, please? Profe. Ya. Yeah. Ah, Joe. Uh, me sale eh, eh, la diapositiva de las caritas. ¿Te sale la diapositiva de las caritas? Es que no sé, como que se me, se me, se me quedó pegado. Y no, 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 no. Es que la tengo, tengo pegado. O sea, lo, lo, lo pegué. Lo, o sea, la dejé pausada. Ah, la... Bueno. Te estoy buscando, Joe, no te encuentro. Joe, aquí. No te no. I think I have you in WhatsApp, Joe. I don't know. Okay, Mr. González has them. Mr. González, ready? Sí, profe. Yeah. Ahí lo, lo mandé. Thanks, man. Okay, let's go to the activity. Ahora sí. 
A ver si pueden hacer la actividad mejor. Ok, there you go. Joe, ready? Is it working now? Is it working now? Um, yes. Yes, perfect. Ok, so I want you to mention a song, how it makes you feel and why. For example, I'm going to write one, one that I like a lot. Uh, um, ok. Honolulu makes me Honolulu by uh, the last dinosaurs makes me feel really warm because it reminds me Ah, pero tienes que darme un poquito más, pues. Profe, me equivoqué. Yeah, <ríe> no sé, quería, quería sacar, o sea, quería poner el espacio. O sea, esta cuestión del enter para escribir uh -huh. abajo. Y, y... <ríe> yeah, okay, there you go. Okay, that's my example. Is uh, the song by... No, Antonio, it can be Spanish. But the answer is in English. Honolulu by the last dinosaurs makes me feel, makes me feel, así es la, porque es una canción, makes me feel really warm, así como mmm, abrigadito. Uh, because it reminds me of the time when I lived in Australia. So that's, that's the structure. Blah, 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 by blah, 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 makes me feel, blah, 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 because blah, blah, blah. That is the structure, people. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. Do it. 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 Relax, London in my mind, relaxing because the rhythm is very calm. Okay, Manu, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a different structure, but it works. Mira, acá está la estructura. Mira, aquí está la estructura. Por el nombre de la canción, de quién es, qué te hace sentir y por qué. Killing in the name of, from the Race Against the Machine makes me feel angry because I feel like Peluca Falcon versus Valver Huerta. Who's that? Who's that? Vicente Cordova, who is Peluca Falcon? Tell me. Um, um, no sabía cómo decirlo. <laughs> Pero un central de Colo-Colo que ayer le mandó un combo a alguien de la Cato. Ah, okay. It makes you feel angry, okay. Killing in the name of... Yeah, good song. And now I do what they told you. And now you do what they told you. Burn it. My pee by Stray Kids makes me feel safe. Because the lyrics talk about how one does not have to compare with any people. With other people. Yeah, yeah. excellent. Good. That's good. Burn it. Yeah, 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 man. Yeah. Yeah, good example. The one I should like. Mauricio? Yeah? Are you here, Mauricio? Yay! Okay, okay. Okay, okay people, two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes to finish this. Conan Gray, Heather, makes me feel very soft and blue at the same time. Oh, really? Because it makes me feel in the moon. It's a cute song. I love it. Mm, Peppies. Thanks, Peppies. Conan Gray, Heather. Like I know. Conan Gray. Conan 
Great Heather. It's all together. Ah, I've got another new vegan egg one, Andrew. Had no idea, but now I know. Okay, let's continue with the next. Let's see. POV o Fariana Grande. Le dije que sea como bye. Así como POV bye Ariana Grande. It makes me feel loved and confused because I find the lyrics are super cute, but it makes me feel like I want to cry at the same time to be happy. Oh, uh, like. But in London, my mind, Jake Hill. There we go. Manu, ¿tal la definitiva? Lack of comprehension from death makes me feel so heavy and I could kill a cat with a pet. <laughs> eh, con respecto a la mía, no sé por qué se puso Y en vez de un is, pero bueno. Mm. That doesn't matter. Rock and Roll by Led Zeppelin. Oh, it makes me feel excited because this song is full of energy. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. El Maito Guy, I didn't know you were rock and roll. Uh, Atrapado by Nino Kane. Makes me feel calm. Yeah. Nino Seven Kane. I didn't know Seven Kane. That's me. Sunny Side. Sunny Side Up by Surfaces. Surfaces. Makes me feel so relaxed because I remember the beach and my summer. Oh. Ahí el verbo que tendré que ocupar en vez de remember, it reminds me. Reminds eh, Mark because it reminds me. Ahí está. Me recuerda. Uh, things reminds remind you. There is a difference between remember and remind. Um, Teacher. Ah, yeah. Se me volvió a usar, o sea, el autocorrecto. No sé cómo lo puedo cambiar. Uh, Dice de son y era de song, pero ya no importa. Yeah, I just made a mistake. Okay, let's see more people. Because we are ready to continue now. <laughs> Lack of comprehension from death. <laughs> Mauricio, C.S. Snowman makes me feel sorry and love because I always listen to it at the prison. Ah, that's good. That's good. Sexy. The song called The Beach by Neighborhood. Ah, The Neighborhood. The Neighborhood is cool. Makes me feel relaxed and happy with the rhythmic of the song. The rhythm of the song. Good. Still My Girl makes me feel when I was little. Steal my girl from or by POV, yeah, that's true. Okay, people, you ready? Yes. Yes. Okay, we're gonna continue now because time is on the on the essence. Okay, so this is the idea on how to describe your songs. Okay, this will be part of a homework that I'm going to give you. So have that in mind. Uh, let's continue with the next bit of a classroom. And now we're going to focus on the following thing. We're going to watch a video on, on why people are listening to sad music. So in your opinion, which is the saddest song you ever listened to? Which is the saddest song you've ever listened to? Are you listening to it and you like? <laughs> Which is the saddest song? Um. Pues uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, no me acuerdo del nombre de la canción, pero eh, es de un anime. Que se llama Fukumeki Noise Y me lo vi Como 10 veces Y lloré las 10 veces porque da mucha pena Ah, oh, chao <laughs> It's like It's like co Coco but anime Ah, uh, déjeme buscar el nombre de la canción <laughs> Aquí, aquí Parent Yeah, yeah, yeah Okay, so please write the name of the song 
the saddest song you've ever listened to? The saddest song you've ever listened to. Oh, nadie ha respondido. Yo me pregunto igual. Eh, acá hay 24 personas. Y en Zoom hay 34. Faltan 10. ¿Dónde están esas 10 personas? Eh, profe. Uh -huh. Es que no sé si eh... la canción que voy a poner es la más triste que he escuchado, o sea, no sé. Pero Me no voy a igual por, por cualquier cosa, porque canciones Profe. tristes no escucho yo. Pero una triste, cualquiera que, que, que he escuchado una ¿Cualquiera? vez, uno dice, ah, qué triste. Vale, vale. No, Profe. O sea, no es la más triste. Yes. Es que, por ejemplo, yo las que puse no son tristes, pero por lo menos a mí me dan pena y se me olvidó ponerla en inglés. Querida Rosa. Yeah. Love Galore. Uh, what is that song from? Who's the artist? Love Galore. Emilia? No me acuerdo cómo se llamaba, pero era una niña y. No sé quién más, ¿verdad? Será esta niña que se llama. No, ella, pues. Z, S, Z, A, o es esta chica que se llama Love Galore. ¿Clairo? ¿Clairo? No, la cantaba la, la niña anterior. Ah. Es Este no se guarda. Vamos a bajar un poco, sí. Oh, from beaches. Sorry. All these stars. As she meant. Great. Es en portugués. Okay. Uh, fo focu main K noise. Molo. Pero eso no era. <laughs> of Ninoi by Yuzu. Ah, no sé. That's a long name. Remember rain of crime because I don't know. Remember some things I don't want to explain. Yeah, yeah okay. Okay. I don't know if it is sad, but I said before, snowman. Yeah. Kurosawa tobacco. No matter to be Ah. I can handle change. Oh, that. Oh, that song is sad. Sola by Tiago Pesetaka. Yeah, sola. I don't have a good memory, so I don't remember the saddest, but pain is the saddest I remember. Pain. Who's the artist? Uh, the Dragon Ball GT. ¿Cuál? El corazón encantado, creo que se llama. Live is to die, Metallica, yesterday, the Beatles. Oh, ooh, ooh. all right, people, next, next activity because we are going to finish very soon. Tenemos que terminar con lo siguiente porque luego tienen clase. All right, okay, so people, now let's do it. Let's finish with this piece of song, uh, piece of uh, listening practice, okay. Are you ready? People? Sí, teacher. Yeah, okay. Les van a salir algunas preguntas ya que se contestan a medida que escuchen, así que pongan atención. Let's go. Me avisan si está bien el volumen o si tengo que bajarle, pararlo, no sé.
teacher. ¿Ah? O sea, no sé si es problema mío o de verdad no se escucha la canción. Ah, está bueno. O sea, es que no so se much, but I see. I see. Hello, this is Six Minute English. I'm Sam. And I'm Neil. Thank you. Do you like sad music, Neil? Well, when I was younger, if I had a breakup with a girlfriend, I would listen to sad songs. Songs which reflected my mood. Mm. And do you still listen to those songs now? Not so much, but I do still like them. Well, it seems as if there might be a biological reason why some of us do like sad songs. We'll look at this topic a little more after this week's quiz question, which is about music videos. The music video has been around for a while, but in what year was MTV, the first dedicated music video channel, launched in the US? Was it A? 1981, B, 1982, or C, 1983? Well, what do you think, I'm Neil? I'm going to have a guess. Uh, is it the early 80s? <laughs> mm, well, yes. Uh, care to be more specific? Well, uh, well, it was a long time ago. I was just a small boy. Uh, I'm going to go for 1982. Okay, I will have the answer later in the programme. But first, more about sad songs. Professor David Huron from Ohio State University has conducted research in this area, and he discussed it recently on the BBC World Service radio programme, The Why Factor. He was looking at why some people like sad music and other people really don't like it at all. As he says, they just can't stand it. He believes it's to do... Okay, question number one. Why people can't stand sad music? The expression can't stand refers to, ¿a qué se refiere can't stand? Soportar. Ya, yeah, pero le sale a usted como la opción o no? Uh, déjeme ver. Avísame si me sale, le sale la opción. Ah, sí, sí le sale. Sí, 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 sale. Ajá, uh -huh. ok. Can't stand. What? Yes, it's letter B. You strongly dislike something. It's letter B. Can't stand. Que no soportas, ¿no? Es como, es como ah. Yeah, that's the truth, yeah. Let's it's continue. to do with a hormone. A hormone is a natural chemical in our bodies which can have an effect on various systems and also emotions. Listen out for the name of the hormone he mentions. One of the things that we were interested in is what's the difference between people who listen to sad music and who love it and people who listen to sad music and who just can't stand it. In our research, it started pointing towards a hormone called prolactin. Now, prolactin, as you might guess from the name, is associated with lactation, from breastfeeding. When people cry, they also release prolactin. Prolactin. So this hormone is connected to growth that makes you taller, music taste, breastfeeding, lactation. Prolactin. Mm -hmm. Really? It's not, yeah, it's not B, it's not B. Es prolactin, es connected to la lactation, la, la lactancia. Uh -huh. Anyway, let's continue. Wow, a lot of people in And there are circumstances in which prolactin seems to have this comforting effect. So, which hormone did he mention? He talked about the hormone called prolactin, which he said was connected to lactation. This is the production of milk by mammals to feed their young. 
What he noted was this hormone can be released when people cry, and in some cases, this hormone has a comforting effect. When something is so a comforting effect, it means what? A, that a person feels stressed, B, that a person feels less worried, and C, the person feels in danger. Comforting. 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 Profe, mm -hmm. cuidado que ya estamos en la hora. Yes, así es. Así que voy a, voy a... Something is comforting, it makes you feel better. It calms your emotions. Let's listen again. One of the things that we were interested in is what's the difference between people who listen to sad music and who love it, and people who listen to sad music and who just can't stand it. In our research, it started pointing towards a hormone called prolactin, now, prolactin, as you might guess from the name, is associated with lactation, from breastfeeding. When people cry, they also release prolactin. And there are circumstances in which prolactin... Okay, and last question. So, in what things or what events we can release prolactin? Okay, yes, that is when we cry, we also release prolactin. So that's that's the reason why some people like sad songs. When you cry, release prolactin, so you feel safe, you feel better, okay? We're gonna stop here and uh, I'm gonna just mention that I'm gonna upload the homework number three, which is to write an article about your favorite band or artist. The instructions are going to be in classroom this week, so, uh, just read instructions and write it in a Google Docs document, okay? Not in the notebook. Or maybe, yes, a, a, it could be a picture in the notebook. Google Classroom or uh, puede ser Word, claro, si puede ser Word or Google, or Google, Google document, Word or the notebook, a picture from the notebook, okay? All right, people, I'll see you next time then. I'll see you on Monday. Please finish your late homework. Oh, bye, teacher. Yeah. Bye, teacher. Bye.